Hey guys, welcome back. Today's not really a redstone thing, even though I'm in my redstone world. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little bug thing, uh, because I was watching one of Holdfast Games' videos. Games'? Games? Whatever. Um, on the Gedcraft server, and he was... He was making a bunch of obsidian for a giant obsidian room, and wanted to know if there was an easier way to make obsidian than just filling in a big row and covering it with water. And, I mean, yeah, that's the conventional way of doing it. Um, some people might see this as cheating, I guess. As far as I'm concerned, you're trading redstone for uh, convenience. Like, this way, you just need, you know, one lava block gets you one obsidian. Or this way, which I don't know if this is a bug, by the way. I, don't, I have no idea how that could possibly be a bug. Um, maybe it's just some change in data values or something is happening there. I'm not really sure. Um, but that's how it is. Uh, if you go like this and put the lava on it, on the redstone, it turns it to obsidian. Um, and you can't just have it go like this because it will just turn the water to, to cobblestone. So, um, this is just a, an easy way of making some, some obsidian. You only need one lava block. And if you hook it up to some pistons, you can make this even, like, automated. Just stick a piston, like, here, and then let's use some obsidian, because it's cool. And it's on my bar. <laughs> um, just hook this, uh, well, we're going to use a torch as, as a lever right now. Just do this, and maybe even a little bit of extra stuff back here. Um, I suppose that wouldn't really be obsidian, would it? Well, I guess none of this would be obsidian. Because, you know, as an obsidian farm, you probably don't want to waste the obsidian you have. But regardless, um, then you can do that. The lava pours down. Flows over that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Makes some obsidian. Uh, then you pull it back. Obviously, lava takes a while to go away. I mean, this, I would, this part I would suggest just doing manually. Um... And then, there you go, you've got some obsidian that you can grab. Nice and easy. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll probably upload a second video today. Well, I've been uploading several videos a day, actually. But, um, uh, I'll probably upload another one immediately after this, just because this is a very short video. So, look forward to that. And, uh, yeah. So, think. all right, one last thing. This is nine blocks wide here. And obsidian that falls down flows an extra block, so you could dig this channel one block wider. And oh, I need to get a water bucket. There you go. And then put this here. Uh, the the wall that I had that was made out of um, whatever this stuff is, <laughs> sandstone. I used enough. You'd think I'd know, but um, if you do raise it up one, like I just did. Uh, like I said, the falling lava flows one block farther. So this should work just fine to convert it. Yeah, there you go. And then it'll flow out to four blocks, so you can have an extra wide thing. And then if you just extend this a little bit farther, you can have one on this side, have it all piston-powered and everything. Uh, you know what? Actually, that keeps happening, where it just doesn't flow. So maybe you can't do that. I have no idea why. It just... I, 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 I don't know. That stumps me. So, <laughs> maybe it's better off to uh, just do a three wide. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.